the more fatalities you have on the road. The higher the import tax on foreign vehicles, the more fatalities you have on the road. Now, where, is that come, where does that come from? Well, uh, there are many countries, actually, that, uh, that limit the imports of foreign vehicles. Now, the foreign vehicles, the world market for foreign vehicles, they are in a constant competition for safety measures, for uh, all the electronic equipment of the car to be able to sell on world markets, to have the highest top safety and security and speed and environmentally friendly and so on measures so that they can sell worldwide. But now you as a country are not allowing these cars in because you're putting an import uh, tax on them, tariff, right? So you are actually using subprime cars, sub technology in your country, which actually kills more people because you're not allowing the high uh, safety cars into your country or not as much, right? So that's actually the- So that's how the relationship is. Yes, that's a the lower the tax, mm. the I lower mean, the fatalities. The lower the tax, the lower the fatalities. Yes. So actually many European countries have basically zero uh, import tariff on cars. Uh, Switzerland, mm. France, uh, Spain. Uh, so Portugal. the higher the import tax means uh, more, <coughs> more people are more killed. Peop more people more people will be killed because they are using subprime quality of car, right? Yes, correct. Produced by their own country. Yes. Can be or cannot be. Some African countries, they just don't let uh, cars in or, uh, or they put very high tariff because the government wants mm. to mm. seize money. In African countries, that happens. Uh, they don't have an own production. Mm. They just put a high tariff. 100% tariff as well, 200% tariff, some countries. So what kind of transportation? Just to get money. Just to, it's an easy way to get money. Yeah. Uh, what happens, people will use the cars to the death. <laughs> to the death, because it's so expensive to get a new car. You're using cars 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. Yeah. Mm. Those cars are bad. They are killers. But you're still using them because it's so expensive to get a new car. And we have a little bit of that here. I mean, the Proton Saga from 1980s, you can see it on the road all the time. <laughs> you know, and go and try to find in Japan 1980s cars, old timers. It's a bit harder to find. In Switzerland, you don't find them. I mean, except you have old timers. But people don't ride 1980s cars anymore. So that, that's a bit the, you, you just have to make, squeeze more out of the car because it's so expensive to actually get a new one. I, I like this uh, variable actually. Mm. The higher the tax, you know, the less factor. Uh, I, I will I get like more excited that, yeah. towards the end, actually. Yeah. I have more numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually. Okay. Go on, go on. <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting thing. Uh, okay, so another thing that I insert is governance. Uh, so actually, the World Bank has governance uh, factors. Uh, corruption, how corrupt is the country, how well is the rule of law, so people believe if I commit a felony, will I be prosecuted? Does the ju uh, judiciary work, so that's the rule of law, regulatory quality of the government, government effectiveness, political stability, so we see that all of these are actually highly relevant to reduce fatality. So the better the government works, the better the institutions work, the less fatalities on the road, okay? 